watching Now or Later, and welcome to Hillian's Hub with me, Hillian, along with... The Terrifying Drakir! <laughs> and, yeah, let's start the game because this starts with an intro. That's uh, with autoplay, so it was best not to have that run during, well, pre-stream. Okay. Uh, OBS should be catching at any moment now. Actually, I've forgotten that this was popping up first. Uh... OBS, why are you not catching this? Uh, uh, should yes. you gonna share screen yeah. with me after or? Uh, oh, it's actually not showing up on Discord at the moment. It must be because this is. Uh, let's see if it'll start once this. Okay, OBS caught it. This is going to be a case that it refuses to show up in this. How old is it? Pretty. Okay. Nope. Uh, did did you get it from Steam or...? From GOG. Something? Oh. Okay, this is annoying. The moment I click away on the game... It, uh, it vanishes from uh, as a shareable screen. Uh, and if I alt tab it screw it, I'll just share the entire screen for the moment. Uh, you'll just have to sadly be left without the, the sound for the moment at least. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this working after the intro. Captain's Log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. When my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. You can guess what he's wanting. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I...
I figured out how to share it. Just <laughs> window it for a moment. How many times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. <laughs> Okay. Your hair, woman. Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. Wait, but you have to be too nice a zombie part for me anyway. Oh, come on. OBS screwed up. Friends instead. Yes. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. <laughs> OBS got stuck on the screen. You saucy female, what do you mean? You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. <sighs> Ah, how romantic. <laughs> Ship ahoy! <laughs> I'm going to try and fix this. Uh, Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape a taste of my blade! <laughs> oh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole, I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long bolts! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Okay, I have no idea why the hell OBS conked out there partway through. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. I could only get through this one door. Well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! <laughs> Big plans, Guyvros. scurvy dogs! <laughs> uh, this worked earlier. Why the hell is it not now? Uh, let's see. Make you rue the Seriously, day. why is it not? Let's you see. Swabs. Prepare for your doom! Hmm. Yeah, I do not get why it's you now all of a sudden refusing worker, to work, so I guess we'll just have to do... <laughs> I guess we'll just have to do with this little impromptu bit then. Uh, give me a moment to get this in a better position. Uh, that is... Yeah, that's the one. After all that time... <laughs> Putting these screens in, into the correct position. Okay. That should be okay now. Actually, it's not completely overlapping, but... Uh, okay, this, this is going to... Yeah, yeah, shut up. You in the port. Your doom be at hand. Okay. Nope, nope, that's... Hmm... Okay, at the moment I have it in a very tiny Somehow, little window on the, my screen here. Desensitizing. Uh, yeah, basically what happened during that intro, the, the part that you couldn't hear, uh, Drakir, 
was uh, guy was basically lamenting the fact that he didn't have access to any water cue uh, bottle of water floating by and then complaining that he wasn't <laughs> he didn't have any food except for a half eaten corn dog cue bucket of fruits and you can guess how the rest of that went <laughs> i'm still looking up that later and also uh, i noticed something here of what i could hear you were wrong about one thing that is they did mention the carnival yeah, true uh or at least in passing uh let's see didn't we do the double check we that when that was 10 minutes so the clock will go on 150 now just a little bit of extra time <laughs> uh but yeah uh, the, the annoying thing is that the re the stream missed the rest of the intro after the the uh, credits, of, of which I have to say, that was probably the best version of the, the theme song I've heard so far. Uh, definitely also better than the one they have in the special editions, I'd say. Oh. Yeah, uh, actually, let me see if I... Mostly this screws with the size here. But what if... Oh, hel uh, hello there in the chat. M1... Chimao, Alex, uh, mind if I just call you Alex? Uh, if I just go here and then copy transform, and then put that, paste that onto this. There we go. That's that's a lot better. Now it fits. Now it's on the same size as the other capture. So I just uh, wait. Why is VC face data showing now? Now I just lower that enough to there. Uh, oh, because I forgot to click that away. That was stupid of me. <laughs> Anyways, now... Oh, come the hell on. Now it's stuck again. Or is it now... Be okay, now it was stopped because I wasn't I didn't have it open. Also, how the hell is this cannon loaded? <laughs> come on as well. It's firing like a freaking p pistol. <laughs> sure, yes, a lot of balls, cannonballs in the room, but yeah, they're not in the cannon. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, the the, the portion of the intro that the audience missed, that was basically Guybrush floating in, in between, well, <laughs> you could hear from the sounds, Elaine and LeChuck in combat. And then LeChuck spot, uh, spots Guybrush and shoots a little bumper cart boat of his to bits with a cannon and has him drag the boards. <laughs> also, I'm totally taking two clips from that intro and using them as intercut things. <laughs> oh dear, of course you are. And also, I love that the, for some reason all the skeletons have, well, bathroom rings and those ball thing, things you put on the arms? Uh, uh, swing rings, or floaties, yeah. floaties, that's the word. Yeah, swing rings and floaties. Like, <laughs> uh, do they really need to care about that? The uh, bone doesn't float, I think, so yeah. Anyways, the, the, the interactions are a bit different this time. We don't have a, a bot, we don't have anything on the bottom to to select actions from. Instead, we have this coin, which pops up if we uh, hold down the mouse button on something, we, which has an interact. Uh, well, it has three interact buttons, the pick up, uh, push, pull and such, examine, and then talk. And I don't think we can get much of a conversation out of the cannonballs, but let's give it a flash shot <laughs> all the same. And also, sadly, there are no subtitles. So that is going to be a tad annoying. What, really? Yeah. Actually, let's have a check. Uh, this isn't actually brought up by pressing escape. This is by pressing F1 for some reason. Uh, oh, hello there. That, oh, let's definitely getting both of these. <laughs> okay, I should. I probably should have checked that earlier, but I only learned just before the stream about the F1 being escape. Because this is still a DOS game, I think. Race Odin! Nah. <laughs> oh, come on! I don't think I've ever 
never seen a cuter pirate. <laughs> uh, I, oh, wait, I, I think. I, yeah, go ahead. I recognize that pirate. It's not the one that's next to me. And that wasn't planned. Wait, <laughs> but, what? Yeah, the parrot being on the overlay is an extra for me. I, I, I'm talking about the, the, the cannoneer here. <laughs> oh, I thought you said parrot. <laughs> I said uh, pirate. Uh, anyways, I, if I ever... Uh, well, when I... Not if I ever. When I have someone redo my model with this a bit more professionally, I'm likely going to act and to try and make them so, it somewhat like a Monkey Island character, because that's the most content I've done with the VTubing model so far. Yeah. And hello there in the chat, Frank24P. Uh, you two doing well there? Uh, let's see. Now let's hello, go have a Frankie. chat here with our littlest pirate. Stand your distance. <laughs> and immediately we get a gun pull on us. Aim right at the privates. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose, the wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. You sound pretty tough. Oh, I'm so tough. In junior high, I stuffed <laughs> Davy Jones in his locker. <laughs> And yeah, this is the first game where they had voice acting, and they actually brought the voice actors back for the special editions of 1 and 2. Ah, so this okay. is where they're all from, as much as they could, I presume. Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave. Made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. Ew. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. <laughs> yep, it's Wally. You, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audiobooks on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> So basically, he got tortured into joining, I'm guessing. But yeah, now we know where he ended up after, well, we blew up LeChuck's castle. The bloody uh. heck. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? <laughs> All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Uh. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. <laughs> he just pulls it out of nowhere. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, you lazy scum, get back to work. Or I'll beat you with your own legs. <laughs> so it, it, they were just slacking off. Uh. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort. 
so his crew can overrun the island. Okay. What's behind that door? Ooh, that's the door to Lechuk's treasure hole. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. Lechuk is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. Uh, I love that something also during the cutscene. Uh, when LeChuck offered that she could be the Queen of the Dead, she actually looked like she was considering it for a minute. Uh, I think she did so faithfully. Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbon. True. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Uh, you might want to aim a little higher. You're likely just to shoot between our legs. Hey, All right, up to the knee. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... Gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... Uh. I'm not even unpleasant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there, there. You sure you and Wally don't have many things in common? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Plastic hook, come on. Okay, give me that. Oh, come on. I, I hope I expect it at least to be a metal, but plastic. I think I see how we're supposed to get out of here. Uh, because, yeah, this thing is being held in place by a rope, and there's a door right behind it. So, let's take a look. As Wally reconsiders his whole life. Yeah, that Okay, that's att attention to detail, but that is actual a thing. I'm not sure if they use ropes and not chains or something. Since, yeah, when those can cannons fire, they will fly. Uh, how can I use that? Oh, okay, that's how I do it. I just move it off the, the box. The rope won't do anything. Okay. Uh, can we pick hook. up that? Yeah, it, it was worth a dumb try, though, because this game has had plenty of dumb things. <laughs> okay. <As you> said. <laughs> uh, could we maybe pick up one of these? Uh, can we use a cannonball? They're too heavy to carry. He says with a five-foot rod up his, <laughs> down his pants. Yeah, that, that, uh, uh, it's all tangled up in all that racing. I can't pick it up. <laughs> and maybe I maybe I meant to say it that way. <laughs> Someone anyway. getting bumped later. No, oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. We... Uh oh. Okay, I didn't know we did. Uh, oh, there, there we go. Again? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he's getting the blame. Oh, uh, I didn't really expect hey, mini games. Ooh, gross! All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. 
<laughs> well, uh, oh, hello. Oh, we can... I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Okay. They messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> hello there, chatty. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands pierced. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. Uh, I I think we already know what to do here. <laughs> oh. Boy, there's not much to do out here when you're just a bodiless head. Well, I can pass the time by whistling it. Or. Hey. <laughs> okay, I don't even know if that was necessary, but it was just fun. I thought there was an ore, but that's not an ore. Yeah, it's uh, meant to stick in this thing. Yeah, it's Again, meant it's to load it. it. Yeah, how does this thing get loaded? Uh, I think that's else? more of the cleaner. <laughs> oh, it is long enough. Or not by a bit. Okay. Reach, wait, wait, hook. Catch hold. Yep. There we go, and now it's a gap. Okay. Uh, I hope the audio is doing okay or at the game. Oh, we're getting a bit extra. <laughs> then we can use this cutlass. It's a sharp cutlass. To, oh, actually, now I forget. We need to move it off the, screen, off the box and then we can use it. Cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think we can. I am, I'm worried for the sauce. Oh! Okay, people. Wait, wait. Now, with the demon Never mind. Of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Neptune's navel, that was a close one. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> well, that's buzzing everything but his freaking boots. <laughs> uh, isn't the ghost oh, ship if it's been sunk twice? Now I, f I feel talking again. This was happened to the, the Vasa ship. I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Uh. <laughs> yes, I was the biggest boat in, in the 15th century or something that uh, King Vasa commissioned. It was so big that it actually, when he uh, tried to set sail, the first thing he did was flip over like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then it became oh. the biggest uh, target practice ever, I presume. Uh, now it sank as well. Uh, I, I think they only, I think they only some years ago finally were able to get it out of the water <laughs> and put it in a museum. Uh, but yeah, they had way too many cannons and made the ship way too tall. Hey, I can see the ocean floor, and there's a really angry-looking skull floating <laughs> around out there. <laughs> Can't blame him. No, oh, come on. Champagne makes me all giggly. <laughs> uh, w w what has that teddy bear done you? Yeah, I think it was already like that. <laughs> it's stabbed through the heart. Cute and yet sinister. <laughs> the bear's too big to carry around, and the sword's a fake plastic one. Oh. Ooh, music box? It's got a zombie ballerina. <laughs> come on, let's shock. It got broken when the ship capsized. You look Chuck's unused comb. Really? I hate to think what that comb's been through. Well, if it hasn't been used, it hasn't been through much. I think LeChuck needs it more than I do. <laughs> I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. Oh, uh, like... <laughs> Uh, a lot of uh, ex-pirates were, were using them. Marry me or die. Touching. 
Uh, I don't know. That seems kind of creepy. Oh, there's a bag here. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some <laughs> treasure. Oh, hey, we can use. There's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Oh. Uh, I'm looking off to OBS now and to one of the sidebars that I made, and there's a very big diamond ring that Guybrush is holding, so I'm pretty sure we have to use this. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Again, if only I could find a way to get up there and get out. Again, I'm surprised they actually mentioned the ending of the final game, but at the same time, I think it's good they only set, mentioned it shortly and they'll do a scene about how he escaped through it since he's. Yeah, we both know how hated it was by the uh, fandom. Yeah. Plus, it leaves uh, what happened up to the imagination, but whatever happened, it was probably very stupid and very hilarious. Yeah. It's the biggest pile of treasure I've ever seen. Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. Really? <laughs> Filthy Lucre, really unclean Lucre, filthy Lucre. Oh, Lucre. Can we pick that up? I wouldn't be able to swim with all that treasure. I'll leave it here and come back for it when I have a boat. This is so going Luke to sink Ray. fully. Wait, what is Lucre? I'm guessing it means another, it's another word for treasure. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. Ah, oh yeah, there's the hatch. Hmm, how are we going to get out of here? And we haven't checked this out. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Duh, glory. <laughs> I see more than enough of him already. Yep. That's a big ass box of chocolates. Chocolate covered barnacles, marshmallow hey. hooks, sea urchins, glass eyes. Ugh. Um. <laughs> so is it only me or disgusting? Even for a pirate. Is it me or this ship has a lot of random nails poking out everywhere? Yeah. Like why? It looks like like this was not. This looks like they were intentionally put around in, the, in this manner. So where the hell... Where did these helium balloons come from? They've been in our inventory from the start. I'm guessing from whatever happened in between. Possibly? I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with that. Uh, home appliances? A beautiful high capacity washer and dryer combination. Something just I dawned no on me. To plug him in. A record collection? Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers collection. Now my oh, hi-fi no. is broken, and it's impossible to find a quadraphonic needle anywhere in the Caribbean. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Let's read on something here. I think the father of my cousins has this game. <clears throat> oh? I think I remember seeing it in, in his collections when I was very young. Which was around when this game would probably still have been sort of new. Okay. Um, let's see, I don't know when the game uh, came out and I have no real idea of how the hell we're supposed to get out of here. We, we probably have to get up to the hole somehow. Well, Helian, if it's a DOS game, it should tell you enough. Yeah. Let's... It's a diamond ring. Uh, can we use this old. somehow? I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Hmm. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Let's see. This game doesn't have a hint system, so we might. Yeah, I'm going to need to make use of something. Uh, actually, uh, oh. And it still somewhat fits like that. But if I... Okay, if I go to full screen mode again, it stays the same. It just gets a little bit stretched. As is now. I, The GOG version of this game, which this one is, uh, came with a strategy guide. So let me take a quick little look here, if that has anything to say. Uh, ta -da -ta. Uh, <laughs> okay, these, the, these chapter names are quite a bit. Guybrush is stuck in the cannon room with blood-nosed pirates. How can he get free to be with Elaine? 
Uh, now that Wally's not a problem, how do I get out of the room? I've killed all four boatloads of pirates, but I still get out of the room. <laughs> uh, okay, how do I get out of the treasure hold? Page 20. Oh, there's a lot of here. Uh, oh, this, this thing is long. 183 plus pages long. Uh, let's see, where is page 20? That's, no, that's 20. Wait, what? What the heck? Um, let's see. Banjo strategy, the hell? Ship combat, I've already read of that. And... Is this out of order or something? Or, let's see, chapter one. Synopsis of the previous games. Okay, no, that's more background. It's really just explaining everything of the previous two games in there. Okay. Uh, there we go, now we are... The only place Guybrush... Yeah, the only place Guybrush can reach is the porthole, because it is stuck tight. He needs something that will cut glass. Okay, that is what... Uh, but that's going to flood this place. <laughs> that means you'll be able to float up to the hole. <laughs> or get crushed against the side of the ship. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. <laughs> um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads Rush, me. Stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo ring in place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... <laughs> Uh, the the curse get worse. Oh, come on, guy brush. <laughs> oh no, uh, Elaine. Well, she's not gonna be happy about this. Yes, yeah, she wasn't happy to begin with. <laughs> well, she was happy about to get married and all that. So, <laughs> no, especially. Okay, let's all take notes. Don't give. Random things we found with trash pirate's treasure as a gift to anyone. In case it's yeah. cursed. <laughs> okay, now we have a lot more freedom. Uh, I, I can see why Elaine didn't want to have anything to do with him for a while. It's Elaine. I've got to change her back somehow. I doubt this will work. She must weigh a ton. Uh, no offense. <laughs> Hey, I wonder how many carrots she... No, no, bad idea. Guy brush. A lot of prayer. Elaine? Honey? You okay? Can I get you anything? I'll just start lifting that pirate curse then, huh? Uh, let's see. Porto Polo. Okay, I think that means something like port of chicken or something, or chicken port. <laughs> it says, welcome to Puerto Pollo, from the Plunder Island Poultry Brotherhood. 
Oh. Hole number two L. The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. Okay. Um. Yeah. What the heck? For a moment, you made me start to wonder if I should refigure what Marco Polo's name means. Uh. It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Plunder Island Feral Chicken, one of Plunder Island's most common fauna and the animal for which our capital of Puerto Pollo is named. <laughs> okay. It looks dangerous. All the more reason to try and pick it up then. I don't think so. <laughs> A moment. <clears throat> now just the water bottle. Let's see. Rage is out. <laughs> and oh, now I also. Hmm. I wonder how much more we'll see of LeChuck now that he has been blown up. The bridge is uncrossable. That's just as well. There's nothing interesting in the fort anyway. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see him again soon. <laughs> Gotta say, the, the art and animation, except for most of this, is Guybrush in the distance is a bit crude here. Guybrush is just overall a bit crude looking when he moves around, but the art on its own is looking very good. Oh, yeah. What have we here? Mysterious. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. If we're going into port, we're probably going to get into trouble because every time Guybrush goes somewhere, he ends him in the trouble. Uh, there's an unknown really? place. There's another unknown place. I cannot hope they remake this. Since Lucas Art is a thing again. Mm, hello, lemonade stand. Lemonade. How inspiring. A budding young entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get where you're uh, coming from. This game re-released with uh, more modern uh, controls and compatibility uh, would be re uh, nice. And uh, having it touched up a bit, it wouldn't need a full special edition like the other two games. Um, but yeah, a re-release for this would be pretty nice. Yeah, so it would should obviously have the yeah, but the other special edition have like uh, help you out when you're stuck. Yeah. You you've got to help me. We're closed. You you've got to help. I closed. Yep. The child labor laws around here are very strict. <laughs> but, 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 but my girlfriend has been placed under a pirate curse. Oh, then you need to see the lady over in Plunder Swamp. She's been leaving flyers around. You might find one somewhere here in town. Okay. <laughs> really the child labor loss. <laughs> it's a mug for the lemonade. Let me guess. We can't take it. Hey! That mug's for paying customers only. I guess we have to come back then. Well, for one, when we have money and when the place is open. Oh, dear. The Surgeon General of Plunder Island has determined that ingredients in this product may be harmful or fatal if swallowed. Um. <laughs> what? Uh, dye vats? It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. Okay. That's a very small plaque. I suspect he didn't do the lemonade properly. An example of one of the many decorative bushes used for landscaping Plunder Island. These signs are going to be a constant thing, aren't they? Plunder Island Naturalist Society Nature Trail. God, I just realized something. I never done lemonade, so that's not really a thing we do in Sweden. But I, I, me, me and friend did experiment and tried to make a special berry use. I forgot if it's called cranberries in English or not. We, we, what we call them is Wienbal, we literally translate it to Wineberry. And we just p p took a whole load of those berries, crushed them up into a jar, you know, in a slight splash of water, and good gods, it was horrible. 
<laughs> I was expecting that. Basically, one sip and it felt like your mouth was bleeding and shriveling up. Ipecac, Cephalus Ipecacuana, one of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the Ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. Okay. Beware. And the growth. Oh, the bell? Wow. This jungle is thick. If I wanted to take this trail, I'd have to hack my way through. Okay, so we need to go find another sword then. A walk, walk through speaker. <laughs> what? Blonde Beard's Chicken Shop. It's the two-way speaker for the walkthrough. Oh, walk through. <laughs> like a drive through. A long uh. beard. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp. Get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. I think we know who it is. Yeah, having looked through the manual, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. Look, look, look at the um, crow nest. <laughs> Drumsticks. <laughs> It's more like a freaking uh, One Piece flag. Okay, this is okay. Not going to go into a different screen here. Uh, spear. Hmm. The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. Okay, I'm guessing these are going to be closed. It's locked. Yep. Uh, how about the stage door? Yes. Yeah, if we're going to the voodoo lady, we know we have to go gather up a bunch of ingredients it's again. Uh, fountain, is there anything in it? In memory of the chickens who gave their lives during the Great Puerto Pollo Potluck Jamboree of 1621. <laughs> I was going, I was expecting that to say in the <laughs> chicken war of such and such. <laughs> no, no, the chickens they fucking ate. Uh mm, no. The heck? Barbary Coast? Let's see. Is oh yeah, this is a bar shop. Note? Yeah. <laughs> the Barbary Coast. Okay. Is this going? Nope, this is going over here. And I'm guessing this is the swamp, and hello, there's someone over there. But we can't go there. Okay, <laughs> we're safe then. You are animated diff. You are colored. Yep. I am Murray, the invincible demonic skull. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back. Darkness will envelop you. How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh-huh. All right, there was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. <laughs> found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals. I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. Okay, just thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. <laughs> what are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? Hanging as a testament <laughs> to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire Earth. How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively speaking, of course. <laughs> You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery. That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. <laughs> Do we still have that long stick? Do you know 
anything about lifting curses? Oh, right. I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. <laughs> I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. Let's see. Uh, we don't have it anymore. We were but we so have something else. Uh, just gonna have an arm. Hey, Murray, remember this? I'd still appreciate it if I could have that back. What would you do with it without your collarbone? Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> so this is the guy that we poked on the on the ship. <laughs> I guess he never saw what you did. Uh, uh, what the? Also, I won't, did, did we really have to bonk him like that? We probably could have put the hook on the stick and gotten his arm that way. It's a big stuffed alligator with an unusually long tongue. It's the alligator's tongue, and it's still moist. Um. What? Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There you are. Okay, Ooh, she looks way better than the second game like now. That. I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. <laughs> well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. I am a voodoo priestess. Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. <laughs> Don't I know you from somewhere? We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we gonna do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. No, I'll make this quick. I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo anti-root. I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. Mm, not really. You gave us the instructions on how to make one. So you are embellishing a bit. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling there's a book out there of how I beat LeChuck by the voodoo lady? Well, I think she did assist you. She did tell you how to do it, so she did assist at least. Yeah. So helping um, is kind of correct. Uh, well, the, she didn't make the voodoo route in the first game. She wasn't even involved with that in the first game. <laughs> and even then, the voodoo route that we did get for it uh, got thrown into the ocean and we used regular freaking root beer. <laughs> So then again, it, it's pro it's possible that the root beer was pr the, the root beer was probably made from the same roots. Though I'm pretty sure root beer isn't actually made from roots. <laughs> You've helped I think they so are. And I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands, but names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. Yes, you're right. Hey, are you making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> yes, totally yes. Okay. Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Y yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> but I've got to tell you about LeChuck and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light. Cover your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. Okay, okay, no stories. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? <laughs> <laughs> All okay. of these are no. <laughs> so that why the floor is covered with paper. Perhaps later. 
Yes, there's no more diplomatic for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so terrible. And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming <laughs> hatred and anger. <laughs> yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. <laughs> Uh, Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Three, two, one. I can't tell you. It's too secret. Very well. But I am very much relieved to hear that she is safe and... Uh, I just remembered something I've got to do. Uh, see you around. You didn't hide her. Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. Uh, uh, and we can take a good I guess. Got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. Looks like I'm going to need some more help. Oh, at least we skipped back as well. Someone stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in danger cold. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No, LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. <laughs> Where am I going to find a huge uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. So what else is new? I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Well, <laughs> nice to know. I feel uh, like there's this vampire so, there. Uh, any huge uncursed rings on any other islands? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. Nope, oh, music change. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there, and an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Hmm. I know already a thing about this crew will probably be picking up. <laughs> well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? Uh -oh. All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. Blood Island sounds dangerous. You have to come with me. No, I cannot. I have lived on three different islands in the past six years. I do not wish to travel anymore. Besides, this derelict is still an escrow. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, but who will explain away gaping claws holes? It, it, who will be the game's only female character? But who will explain away gaping plot holes? You've got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. Blood Island, here I come. <laughs> Let's see. I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. 
You'd be surprised at how much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. <laughs> well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. You may have dealt with him for now, but this respite can only be temporary at best. When I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Big Whoop is pure evil. You were lucky to escape alive. And I can't remember much about it. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so let down. Yes, it is the source of much of LeChuck's power. I'm never going back there again. I have foreseen otherwise. Uh. You oh, come will return on. to Big Whoop and confront LeChuck once again. We'll that, that, that's... Be back. Some men can search <clears throat> their entire lives and never discover their reason for being. The Chuck has found his to perpetually rise from the dead and torment you and Elaine. It's what he does best. <laughs> Gee, when you put it that way, it's kind of hard to stay mad at him. You were going to say? <laughs> say, did they just again reference Big Whoop as being a damn carball? And then, I also felt like they were commenting on the, yeah, how the players re reacted to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what island is this, anyway? You have landed on Plunder Island. Plunder Island. Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. <laughs> okay. Hmm, sounds exciting. And a tourist trap from all of the science. There's been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a giant chicken. Hey. What? What about this giant chicken business? Ah, yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This was a peaceful island until the great beast landed on our shores. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind fate. Whatever the impetus, it came. <laughs> what came? It was El Pollo Diablo. The giant demon chicken. Tall as a man and twice as powerful, his massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. No one has seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, his blood curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. In the dark of night, he roosts patiently, watching. Waiting for the one day. No, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's hatching a diabolical scheme. He roams the island, exacting terrible vengeance on those who would capture and eat his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. There were once others like you, skeptical to the true nature of the beast. But they're all dead now, pecked into a bloody pulp by his savage beak. But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, whatever. Elaine is governor of this island too? Actually, Elaine is the governor of the entire Tri-Island area. Comprised of okay. Booty and Plunder Islands. She moved to the fort here on Plunder after the kitchen and landscaping staff quit her Booty Island mansion. Uh, how did. Why did they quit? <laughs> Was the party that bad? I think it's due to you. Good chance. <laughs> well, how did you end up on Plunder Island? I realized that my location in the swamp on Scab Island wasn't ideally situated. So you moved to a swamp on a different island? I just said I could see the future. 
I never claimed to be an expert in real estate. <laughs> Thanks. I've heard all I needed to know. That's probably a good point. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? <laughs> Does it have any skink toes in it? A few. I'll pass. I want skink to know toes? more about... Wait, hold on. Leave the skinks alone! <laughs> Want to know more about safe hair replacement systems? What? I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. I can imagine. Didn't you have a beard the last time I saw you? <laughs> Good point. I sure did. A really cool one. I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> Come on, guy brush. I guess they couldn't. They weren't able to animate that sort of beard. I want to know more about a diet I can live with. I'll share with you knowledge passed from mother to daughter in my family for generations. What's that? Low fat, high fiber. It works. <laughs> okay, this is just going to keep on with random things, so let's Thanks move on. Help. Gotta go. And away she goes. <laughs> let's see, can we take some of these? What a relief. Yeah, so those things actually work. I don't need it. It's just a toy. I don't need it. It's just a toy. Okay. Can we pull out any of these other pins? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, toy scissors. I don't want those dull little scissors. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not the only dull thing in the room at the moment. Admiral Sweetums bit o jerky bubblegum. Five cents. No, we don't have any any cents or cents. So let's get out. Also, why is the why is the tongue the thing that we need to pull? Yeah, I'm concerned. Hmm. And nothing to say about that, huh? Hold on, there's real something. Hmm? How the heck did that ship land on the trees? Good question. One will probably never get an answer to. Let's see. Okay, we only have the fort. Uh, oh, we have something over there. So let's get Guybrush to walking. He needs to get his daily exercise in. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hello. Brimstone... Beach Club? Okay. Brimstone Beach Club. He's a member of the bustling Plunder Island workforce. Hello? Yes, may I help you? <laughs> Something sure smells, uh, cooked. Got anything to eat? Sure, but... Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach and a swapper size class at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead <laughs> corpse washing up on shore. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your membership card, and we'll fix you right up. Wait, what? Membership card? But I'm wearing my membership t-shirt. No membership card, I see. Well, sir, you're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgy, part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea, and it was terrible. <laughs> then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. And he just 
quickly turned around and turned to a jackass. It's full of dirty dishes. It's an ice bucket for a bottle of sparkling grog. And for challenges. That's been a bit since there's been any ice bucket challenges. He's going to complain if we try this. I don't want to carry that around. It's cold. I don't think that was a challenge back then. Okay, he's going to stop us here, I'm guessing. You can't go in there. That's for members only. Okay, towels, we can't use those. Uh, cooking oil. Probably can't get that either. It's coconut cooking oil. <laughs> okay, coconut cooking oil. Never really heard of that before, but I'm curious how it would taste. Uh, or things made any, with it. Yeah. I learned something about coconut food. People have been trying to say it to be a healthy food, but there's one problem with coconut food. Mm, that is? What is healthy fat? It's still a lot of fat. Like, the reason you want to eat coconuts when you're stranded on an island is that for... It's probably the only food that gives you en enough fat to survive. And trying to That's eat cool. coconut on a daily basis is... Yeah. It's too much Bad fat. Idea. Yeah, and so it's sort of a scam going on around. The addition to our public works of art was shamefully taken without authorization. <laughs> they put up a plaque really quick. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well then. But yeah, coconut oil healthy just again moderation. Yep. Okay, I wonder what we'll have to do next then. Uh, we have this pin here. There was someone we saw earlier when we pulled that pin out. Uh, oh, hello, this door is now open. I'm guessing that's from the pin. Do you have a reservation? Uh, no. No reservation slip, huh? Then out you go! Well, jerk. <laughs> It's saw um, something terrifying in the hair. And that was? A fainting. It looks horrifying. Um, let's see. Pirate literature. <laughs> it's an old crow's nest, converted into a sign for the chicken shop. <laughs> uh, mud, mud puddle. Uh, are we really going I won't to be able to find anything in this mud by fishing around with my hand? Okay, what if we do that with someone else's hand? I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Nope. Hmm. Actually, we have uh, we have a bag of nickels. Uh, wooden nickels, so useless, I think. Uh, but still, <laughs> possibly enough to get something pay bought. Actually, we could probably use it in the gumbo machine. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy. My first customer. Gee Willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. Well, that does sound like a good deal. Is the lemonade good? A what? Oh, gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Uh, wow. uh, What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. It'll cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of teeth, internal bleeding. The reopening of old wounds, diarrhea, kidney failure, fainting, halitosis, and death. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Of... It... Go ahead. I say some of those correct, but some of them are also wrong. Well, lemon is healthy. It is actually bad for your teeth. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had anything with lemon in it. Will it cure evil pirate curses? No, but it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. I'd like to buy some lemonade. 
Sure. We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. Oh, that's what it. <laughs> hey, there's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy, and there are no refunds. Why, you oh, little, little scammer. Thank you. Come again. Uh, I thought with that they meant limitless refills, but now I see it's a bit more literal. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, that, that raised a red flag for me so many times now. Uh, okay, touche, touche. <laughs> it's a chicken coop, but I don't see any chickens. I can see why. It's a bit broken. Uh, actually, since we now remember that we have the nickels, let's go back to the swamp and see if we can get one of those uh, <clears throat> gumballs. Since we're likely to not be able to go much el uh, many other places. Actually, whilst we're here, can we open this up? Because it's... Oh, oh are we going to have this <laughs> again? <laughs> Where did that put us? Uh, there. Is that... Oh, that's a shortcut. Okay, that's nice. Uh, all right, we didn't go this way earlier. Oh no! If there's a spitting contest here, I'm out. <laughs> well, same word I ha ha Crescent? No. I almost misread that to a. I wonder what these numbers are for. Swedish word for fuck. <laughs> Rubber trees and some more plaques. Caribbean rubber tree. One of the many rubber trees common throughout the Caribbean used as raw material for shipbuilding. Hmm. So this is the same? Sumatran rubber tree. Donated to Puerto Pollo by our Sumatran sister city of Vacaville. This tree is the only one of its kind in the entire Western Hemisphere <laughs> and stands as an everlasting symbol of the friendship between our two cities. Pretty sure if you move a tree from one part of the planet to the another, it's not going to last too long. Then again, some can last in very different situations. Yeah, What's and I think I've told you this before. When I was 10 years old or so, it was impossible to grow palm trees here. But since I was 15, palm trees can survive the winters here now. Yeah, global warming and that. Yeah, it's. Uh, for those who don't know, it's somewhere in Sweden that there's barely snow anymore. And yes, that means we have a rainy Christmas. This is just depressing. An enormous keg of old gut blast brand rum. <laughs> well, I like rum as much as the next pirate, but that's a little much. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to sabotage some sort of competition sure. here, don't we? Wait, don't don't tell me this is a log throwing competition. <laughs> is it a logs or hoofs? Yeah, uh, those imprint well that could be from uh horseshoes, but I'm guessing it's going to be logs. <laughs> Especially with how many there are here. Okay, is there anywhere else we can exit here? Yeah, I do like that the rest of the Locations are visible in the background with the fort here and distant beach. Wait, hold on. Looking beach. Hmm? Hold on. Uh, I thought the Scots, the Scots were the only one throwing logs. I think they typically are, and there's something shiny over there. But we can't get onto the beach, so we can't get there yet. So, let's see. We have all of that. Could we... Could we fool that guy with some of this? Piracy. Villa Chukwe. Chapter 1. How to get more than 15 men on a dead man's chest. <laughs> hmm. Ready? Anyway, for now, let's go get that uh, gumball. And from there, I actually have no idea where to continue on. Okay, we can double click to speed up things. That's going to be yeah, that's going to be useful. Yeah, don't think we can pick it up. 
So let's just use. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Okay. Um, then going to have to alt tab this a bit, and let's see. One person talk to Woolly Lady. Uh, everyone tells me, to, but I can't find her. No, but no, but no. <laughs> this is really going step by step. It is a strategy guide after all. Uh, let's see. Pick up everything you can, of course. <laughs> Okay, the, the way this strategy guide is doing things, it, it gives you two hints first, and then it gives a third hint as the answer, but it's upside down, so you can't, uh, you can't automatically read it. Like, some people rarely have that, like me, where you can, uh, where your mind is with reading, or uh, your eyes, what your eyes are seeing is skipping ahead a rule or two as you go. Okay, that would explain a few times where you've been reading the entirely wrong word. Okay, uh, bring the game back up. Since we'll have to do something with the mug. Uh, Wait, hold on, I just realized. You have gum made of jerky. Yeah. You have gum made of meat. Yep. <laughs> Want me to get you a bucket? Let's see. Can I flip this somewhere? Uh, Wait, this is, uh, are you telling me you can't read upside down? I can with some uh, with a bit of difficulty and oh come on you're putting rotate pages behind a paywall uh, let's see the sun uh, at the beach club have okay beach club something i should be able to get a mug there but we're not allowed into the beach club. Hmm. Now if we go there, we just ends up here again. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Something about a dressing room. So let's go here again for a moment. Can oh, this is open now. Okay. Well, we can continue on here a bit then. Let's see. I wonder if there's a part in this play for a dashing rogue pirate. Let's see. Anything to pick up? We have a pirate coat. It'd be a nice coat if it weren't for that dandruff. <laughs> Looks too big for me. Donkey I, I can see the dandruff. I don't want to look like a jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> so knock it off. <laughs> uh, beat me to it. It's some goofy drama masks. I don't need a prop. Let's see. Oh, magic stuff. It's a magic wand. It's empty. Or is it? Is it so from Loom? Watch me make this disappear. I don't want to disturb the mystic powers of the hat. Okay, then of course the next thing that we're going to try is... Nothing up my sleeve? Well, that actually did something. Hey, it worked. There's something inside. Okay, that looked a bit rough. Did you see what happened to the wand? Yeah, they did a bit uh, with the reflection or something. No, no, I it think it, the, the wand broke up into two parts. So you had basically one wand and its lower tip, a few centimeters of everything under it. It's yeah. a big sword. And we pick that up. I don't need a prop. Okay. 
I think he's doing. If he, yeah, yeah, this game is old, so. I don't need a prop. Yeah. yeah. Fake swords. Blood Island sticker. Hey! It's a sticker from Blood Island. It says, Blood Island is for bleeders. A message from the Blood Island Tourism Council. Hey, maybe the performer who owns this trunk knows how to get to Blood Island. Okay. Oh, can we. It looks too heavy for me okay. to carry. Can we pick it up? It's stuck to the trunk. Okay, makes sense. And we can go this way. Probably get into trouble. To swab yep. Or not to swab. Oh, it's oh, it's practice. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> From when I thought that he was walking in in the middle of a performance. The show opens today. Um. Then I kill Caesar. Follow that up with a little soft shoe. I don't remember. Is the water ballet? It's Yorick's headstone from Hamlet. A pirate by any other name would still reek. Ah. Next, I. We had better looking trees in my fifth grade school play. Really now? And then. It's an actor. Thespian. <laughs> what fools these men with morals be. Oh, I'm... That is just disturbing. <laughs> Bringing up memories, <laughs> Guybrush. Oh, yeah. That whole lend me your ears bit. Oh, no. Balcony. I sure hope I what? can get someone to actually do it. I had flashback Act four, of Fespian. Join me, Rosencrantz. I am your father. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. I heard a joke of that in a Digimon game. Oh. Basically, this is between... Maybe we could move away from him before he is distracting me. You very old meat. You worse than... Right. This is from one of the Digimon Cyber Sleuth games. The second one. Yeah. And it's between... Gabumon, Agumon, and I. Uh, Nokia is her name, yes, Nokia. She, she, she basically said, I would be. Burning. Must be this shoddy 17th century electrical wiring. Wait a second. Somebody's been monkeying around with these controls. Now I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. Uh, yeah. Right, as I was saying, she, Nokia said that she would be a great thespian. And the first things. Agumon says is, I thought you were into guys. <laughs> yeah, that line. <laughs> I screenshot it on my PlayStation, and I... Yeah, that <laughs> came from left field. For me, I start laughing. Uh, yeah, this I, one's not... Oops, sorry. Go on. Yeah, I've, I've also played through both of the games. So they're available as one on steam and yeah they are quite a laugh here and there <laughs> yeah the world is good yeah uh, as it is they do have some characters that are lesbians and such but they never mock them which i appreciate like yeah that thespian lesbian yoke was it was not mocking it was just yeah I'll mixing up words work. let's see there's nothing else we can interact with where could we find these instructions then? Or is this guy reading the instructions or something? Okay. He's mm -hmm. finding out of lines? Hey! Have you been to Blood Island? But of course. Blood Island was once the place to be if you were an artist in the Caribbean. Those were the days. We were young and wild, pushing the limits of our craft. Oh, what risky, daring performances we gave. We weren't afraid to shock or offend the stodgy, mainstream sensibilities of our audiences. Oh, what did you perform? Dinner theater, mostly. <laughs> Could you tell me how I can find Blood Island? My agent, Palado Domingo, always handled the travel arrangements. He would know how to get there. Any idea where I could find him? He's a member of the Brimstone Beach Club here on Plunder Island. 
you might catch him there. Of course. Who did you say knew about Blood Island? My yeah. agent. Most likely he's at the Brimstone Beach Club. Okay, we still can't skip text, but probably also good because <laughs> most of this is going to be pretty funny. Can I join your show? Let me be blunt. You just don't have the hands of a spear carrier. You have hey. no idea how often I hear that. Hey. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. I'm a dangerous pirate. Who are you? Cromwell. Slappy Cromwell. It's not my real name, actually. My agent told me my given name just didn't have star quality. What was your given name? Rex Fortune, Adventure Seeker. <laughs> That's a lot better. What the heck? That's a damn What's good that name. Putrid, stench ridden drivel that you're rehearsing. But this. This is the master work of the bard. Do you really think it's that bad? Was the Great Pyramid of Cheops originally 481 feet high? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have altered the material. How Wait, you made it so? And stabbed it bodkin like through the unsullied poetry of the master. You rewrote Shakespeare? I was compelled to. Not a single person was coming to any of my performances. I can oh, take a good guess why. Pirates, not men enough to confront their own sensitive inner natures. So I rewrote the whole folio, contracted the brilliance of decades into a 45 minute review. Spear, a theatrical medley. You know, you could have just taken the works and contracted them into <laughs> a thing of their own. But I, I'm pretty sure there are multiple. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen any, but I'm pretty sure there are more a lot of modern retellings of Shakespeare stuff in a lot more uh, digestible <laughs> form. Yeah, or bizarre versions like. Like the one episode of Hero Academia. Let's see. Um, Was Shakespeare, Romeo, Julia, Zelda, Dragon Ball, and a few <laughs> others into one? Uh, yeah, that one now I recall. <laughs> we still need to check if the fifth season is finished up so we can get to watching that. It should be by now. Why can't you go back to the original scripts? Oh, the sweet, sweet, bitter irony of it all. Now that you have confirmed that I have produced a work of unredeemable trash, I'm more or less guaranteed to have a financial success on my hands. Yep. What? Why do I find that strangely encouraging? <laughs> Wait, what? Can I watch you rehearse your horrible play? I'd rather you didn't. I get nervous when people watch. Well, of course. Really? <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing what he means is is if people say it sucks so much then other people get curious like does it really suck that much and uh, yeah you get Bas basically it's a case of so bad it's good Carry so this is yes so bad it's bad yeah and I seen Yeah, and so shark and, and yeah, and octopus thing. Wait, what was the name again? Mm. Yeah, and shark and super octopus. So, but like that, mm. just not sure. I really, the, the, the act trees of this genus were often used by early settlers for theatrical productions. And then, <laughs> oh, Juliet, yada 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 yada. Hmm. Hey, his co worker fell asleep. Yeah, a ventriloquism book. Uh oh. The A V C's of ventriloquism. Okay, can we. It's an interesting read on its own, but I should try it out on somebody. You, you, I hope you know what it is, right? I know what ventriloquism is. I've seen oh, Jeff Dunham. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we'll... 
know that actually works. Here, no actor. Get off the stage, you bum. What? But I didn't. <laughs> Just you be quiet and help me rehearse. <laughs> really? Next, that was funny once. In the next scene. That was funny once. Okay. Hmm. Well, at least, yeah, I was going to say he was awake, but then he snored again. Hmm. So maybe they are not the one we're supposed to use it on. Yeah. Good gods. Hmm. Mm, I wonder. Actually, no. I was just yes, we should stream the Digimon game sometime, but I realized no. They're very long. They would definitely be a case for YouTube specifically cut down. Yeah, or as well, they are great games, very good storytelling, all kinds of well written and all that. However, it can be grindy and the cutscenes can be long, especially in the second game. Like, both are damn good. The only criticism I would give the second game is a bit too long of story cutscenes. Like, they're still good, just a little bit long. Hey, everybody. I'm a snot-nosed, devious little con man. Hey! <laughs> okay. We can't actually go down from here. Um, do you see that building oh. there? It looks like it has a long down. nose. Yeah, uh, okay. We. Yeah. I didn't expect that we could go down here because we start here if we come from this direction. Uh, though it oh. seems that there isn't anywhere... Yeah, it's just a bit of extra. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do a double check then. on, Or let's check the strategy guide again then. Uh, let's see. What should I do in the theater? Check. Poke in a coat pocket. Okay. There. It'd be a nice coat if it weren't for that dandruff. Oh, not that. So. Glove. And coat pockets. So do we really want to? Yes, we want to. People think less of this guy just because of a slight problem with... Hey, this isn't dandruff. Oh. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Looks too big for me. Uh. Worse than dandruff. It's a glove. Okay, what could we do with a glove? That was in the pocket. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, pick up the pocket. Is it? Hmm. This is annoying. I'm really going to need to turn my head to try and read this. Uh, pick up the dandruff from the coat, the glove in the pocket, and the wand. Okay. We saw that. Um, okay, here's where. Uh, where should I go after the theater? Guybrush can't get any lemonade and they won't let him into the chicken shop. Only one other place to go. Check out the uh, barber shop. Okay, since the other oh, place is opened up, so I'm guessing that might also have opened up. Yeah, if you know where the bubble shop is, luckily enough. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's open now. Okay, they, I guess they just kept these shots so we didn't go around wasting time when we could go... Uh, Welcome, patrons, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Hey, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylists. Great! Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? <laughs> yeah. Bad. Wait a second, did I just share too much? Yep. 
bloody idiot. Let's see. Yeah, we... Ah, hands off that comb, or I'll have your bangs, you thieving dog. <laughs> okay. He sounds familiar. I think he probably voiced some characters in the special editions as well. Possibly. It's a dapper pirate. It's a salty pirate. <laughs> He was clean a flop from blood. Of course you are. Okay then, who are you? Edward Van Helg. Not the. That's right. Mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglekin <laughs> Van Helg. Dude. You want what? You're pirating the hairstyling? Why? The music of the sea is something that takes hold of your soul and never lets go. But the life of a sailor is a rough one, and the sea shows no mercy. It was no easy choice to leave, but I realized that I could still enjoy the music of the sea while remaining safely on land. Helium, is he Dutch? Van Helgen is a typical, uh, well, it, it, in most Dutch names, Hell or last names, there would be a space between because van be taken. Uh, yep, I went into Dutch too early there. Van be, uh, means of in English. So, in yeah, it would be of Hel uh, Helgen. But in many uh, Dutch descendant last names, the, they are uh, contracted at times. Uh, okay. And wait, Helg, that's a Swedish word. No. It means weekend. <laughs> so this guy is of the week, or of week. <laughs> the weekend. Affordably priced sea shanty <laughs> compilation albums? Uh, no. By starting a barbershop quartet, obviously. <laughs> obviously, but there are only three of you. Auditions didn't go as well as we'd hoped. We once had a tenor named Dominique, but he left. Artistic differences. <laughs> you still haven't explained why you chose hairstyling. Well, we spent so much time coming up with a clever name for the shop, we realized we were going to have to give up singing and actually become barbers. But I still like to think that we're not just cutting hair. That maybe, just maybe, we're teaching people a little bit about themselves. How would you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast. We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threepwood. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. Hey? I am a gentleman, you big old bedwetting duty head. Then prove it. If you can defeat me in a gentleman's duel, I'll join your crew. All right, let's get to dueling. No, no, no. There are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient insults. Mm, okay. Yep, the insult sword fighting is back. <laughs> How appropriate. Without... You fight like a cow. That's an old one. Come back when you have some fresher material, eh? Yeah, without the swords in this case. I don't want to insult uh, you. Yet. Why can't we just get along? Are you truly happy with this line of work? I may return to the sea one day, but for now I'm happy helping pirates look their very best. At least until we find a fourth bar barbershop quartet. <laughs> Let me guess, is the pirate in the other... in the... Uh, theater, theater. Mm -hmm. Could maybe get one of them into this. Probably the other guy who is asleep with its eye open, unless it's a glass eye. Wait, who? The one on the balcony. On the right. Balcony? The one in the pink dress. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it was. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, he was the one I was referring to. Just 
I'm confused. confused. I, I still don't want to eat. What? What balcony? I see no balcony in this barbershop. I could be the fourth for your barbershop quartet. Uh, no, no. Uh, that's okay. I was wrong. We don't need one after all. Oh, come on. I've really got away with a ballad. All right, then. Let's hear what you've got. Uh-oh. Uh, there's a monkey in my pocket. I've got a friend in the ocean. Uh, plunder on my mind. Uh, Caribbean I Anthem. Wooden leg, restless hearts. Uh, Silver's long johns. <laughs> uh, is he really going to? Oh, there's a monkey in my pocket and he's stealing all my change. His stare is blank and glassy. I suspect that he's deranged. <laughs> oh, my dear, sweet, merciful savior in heaven. Pretty good, huh? You must take an oath now before man and God that you will never, <laughs> ever again sing in public. <laughs> so, what are you telling me exactly? Uh, let's try another. Try for your barbershop quartet again. No! Oh, please, please. The spirit of music is in me. All right. But this is the last time. Music change. Once my old man spoke to good King Triton and asked why all this senseless fighting? Why can't we men express emotion? Now I've got a friend in the great sainted jumping monkeys. What do you think, huh? That was even more atonal than last time. <laughs> I bet you have a ton of cool pirate stories. No, I couldn't. Oh, come on, I'd really like to hear some of... The year was 1675. <laughs> we were on a course towards the wreck of the rattling phlegm. Our days were filled with songs of the voyage and the untold riches we'd find at our destination. Two months into our journey, we realized something was horribly wrong. Was it some kind of seasickness? In a manner of speaking, we were all stricken with a melody, a diabolical song that I shall never forget. La 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 the doomed voyage of the obsessivo compulsivo <laughs> will haunt me forever. Uh, okay, gotta love it when they're willing to take a piss on their own boot. Uh, Wait, what? That, that's a new phrase? <laughs> Whoa, look at the time. Gotta scoot. Let's see. Can we get at these scissors, perhaps? Wow, I bet those could cut through anything. Let's see, a paperweight, hairstyling book. I guess if we try to grab any of these, this guy will kill us. Can we actually talk with him? Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pie. Quiet. Red, huh? Don't distract him while he's working on me. Aye, laddie, you'll have to wait your turn. It's the pirate wheel. Yeah, that, that voice actor sounds familiar. Yeah, I, definitely actually, him in some uh, shows and games. He sounds a bit like... He sounds a bit like Scrooge McDuck. Oh, I think <laughs> you're right. <laughs> he beefed up. Uh, and instead of uh, making money legally, he's turned to just outright stealing it and also uh, undergo some massive, massive <laughs> plastic surgery. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I'm sad for May that voice actor rest in peace. Yeah. Ahoy there! Still. Guybrush Threefoot, mighty pirate. So. So it's good to meet you, Mr. Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name? Bill? Cutthroat Bill. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? <laughs> Are you ever going Another to... Another voice I recognize. Maybe. Someday. 
if I find the right captain. Perfect. I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and high adventure. Wanna come? You a captain? Hardly. I'm the mighty pirate who defeated LeChuck. And what do you have to show for it? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure? Immense mounds of gold and diamonds? Solid gold scepters of power? Anything? Well, I've got these nickels. Wooden? Uh, yeah. Some treasure hunter you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. <laughs> okay, his mm. tongue is rather cutthroat. And also, is that why the towel is bloody? I bet I could find Probably. Very island. How much would you bet? Well, I've got these nickels. Right. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. I think uh, this right here on the floor, that is probably Bill's work. And probably why he is the one currently on cleaning duty. Yeah. Also, probably also why he wants the current customer wants you to not disturb the current barber. How'd you break into the hairstyling industry? I saw an ad to join a barbershop quartet. Got a problem with that? No, that must be very rewarding work. What's that supposed to mean? Me? Just that, you know, cutting hair and um, singing must be just a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. Some days I just don't know how to contain my joy. I get giddy, and the laughter bubbles out of me like a sparkling fountain of mirth and gaiety. Okay, new topic. <laughs> I can't really tell if he was being fully sarcastic there or not. I think I'm a bit afraid okay, of him. Here's a story. I started out as a crewman on the raging tightwad, sailing out of Puerto Pollo. The captain was a master treasure hunter, a diviner from some ancient secret society. He had some weird fifth sense when it came to finding objects of value. Don't you mean sixth sense? No. By some cruel trick of nature, he was born without taste buds. But his other senses took over and gave him an uncanny ability to find treasure. We left port without a map guided only by the captain's keen senses. We spent the first week going around in circles until we realized the crew's gold earrings were throwing the captain off. After we tossed all our jewelry, gold coins, and belt buckles overboard, we got back on course. Did you ever find any treasure? We sailed for two years and had finally started back to Plunder Island. But just as we started to doubt him, he paid off. We found sunken treasure right off the coast. Wait a second. Was it an enormous pile of jewelry and gold coins and belt buckles at the bottom of the bay? Exactly. How did you know that? I just had a feeling. Uh. <laughs> uh. It's been a pleasure. Bye. So much for their sixth sense, huh? Can we talk with you, perhaps? I guess if anyone here has... Uh, a membership card, it's likely him. So you're a ship captain, huh? Not just any ship captain. Don't tell me you've never heard of Captain Ronnie Rottingham. I've never heard of Captain Rottingham. I'm only the most cunning and well-groomed captain ever to say the Caribbean. Did you know you're starting to go gray? I most certainly am not. <laughs> <laughs> That's that look. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. Gray hair suits you. It doesn't. I mean, of course it would. Uh, but uh, I don't have to worry about that for several years. If I were you, I'd worry more about those split ends. Split ends? I'll have you know I've killed men for comments less slanderous than that. I think I know what we have to do with the lice. Uh-oh. Fire! Run for your life! I'm sure the authorities probably have the situation under control. <laughs> but just in case, Baba, more moisturizer. Come <laughs> on. I recognize that voice as well. Here in the back. What? You're lying, of course. If you say so. All I know is that there's definitely some kind of shine going on back here. 
You seem irritable. Is it from your dry scalp? <laughs> My scalp is lovingly massaged with the finest creams and oils in the world. Twice daily. Yeah, that's a little more than I wanted to know. Your petty jobs and insults mean nothing to me. I feel like I heard that. I suggest you leave, boy, before you force me to defend my honor. <laughs> I feel like I heard that voice actor a lot in the past. Seem busy. I'll come back later. He does sound. Uh, it could be the, the. It could in part be the accent that they're putting up. Yeah, so I feel like I heard a voice actor doing a lot of strange characters. Okay, just gotta wait a moment until he looks away, I presume. I think he'd notice. Hmm, okay. The, the comb? Uh, there we go. Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons! What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin! The scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas! That's a lie! Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions! Good analogy! This calls a drastic action! I'm bringing in old Ironsides! No, no, uh, let's not be too rash! Rash? That's a bad sign! There's no time to lose! I'm going to have to amputate! <laughs> no! No! You'll ruin my hair! <laughs> and gone. Okay, but he sounds more like Scrooge McDuck because of the accent, mostly. I don't think that it's the actual voice actor. Wait, it might be for... He was well yeah. and living when this was made. He looks like a true professional. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. Okay, you're now sure? I'm doubting it myself again. Uh, we should investigate later. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're running. Well, we are running close on the time limit, though, so uh, we can still keep this going for a how bit. Did you become a barber pirate? I spent 10 years at sea on board the HMS Anathema, the fastest ship in the Scottish Navy. So how did that help you become a barber pirate? It was a clipper ship. Ah. <laughs> Wait, what? A, a clipper is a type of ship, it's a, it's a class of ship. Uh, oh. <laughs> so you started this salon? Aye, but not on the own. I grew to love hairstyling so much that I told two of my best friends about it. And then they told two friends. Aye, and they told two friends, and so on and so on. Do you know oh, any dear. Russian pirate stories? Well, there is the story of the secret of Bulky Island. We were a crew of two score men under the command of Big Jake McJuggernaut, the most powerful <laughs> captain on the seas. One night in port. Captain Jake heard the tale of an enormous treasure buried somewhere on Bulky Island. We set sail and landed on the island within a fortnight and found the treasure the next morning. Bulky Island? Where's that? You won't find it on any map. Captain Jake took the location of the treasure to his grave. Oh, it was a beautiful sight. A tremendous chest made of solid gold. Big Jake leapt into the hole and wrapped his sinewy arms around the chest. He gathered his resolve, counted to three, filled his lungs and lifted with all his might. The sound of his back cracking brought a grimace to even the most steel heart. <laughs> By nightfall, the lot of us were lying on the beach, writhing in pain. Why didn't you lift with your knees? That would have been the weak man's way out. The pirate Angus McFulcrum had followed us to Bulky Island, wanting the treasure for himself. The weakling used a lever and took the chest, laughing at us as he carried it to his ship. And my proud Captain McJuggernaut died in traction, cursing himself for not being strong enough. Yeah. Haggis. That's an unusual name. I suppose it is. 
But haggis is just a nickname. The given name is heart, liver, and kidneys <laughs> boiled in the stomach of the animal McMutton. Oh, so your parents were expecting a girl. Yay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No. Come on. What is that blue stuff in the jar anyway? Ah, the old comb juice. Tis a fiery brew that's bested many a sailor with her fermented froth. It will burn your throat unless you chase it with conditioner. Uh, what? You sure you shouldn't be drinking that either? Those sure are nice scissors. Aye, they're my best pair. They can cut through almost anything. Well, why are they in the ceiling? Sometimes I cut hair so fast the scissors fly from my hands at unbelievable speeds. Could I uh, borrow those scissors for a minute? Sorry, no. They're much too valuable to me. You know they can cut through almost anything. Yes, I believe you mentioned that. Yeah, we're going to need those for something eventually. Never mind. For now, though, that was perfect timing because that was the timer going off. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> oh dear. For now, though, putting down a save. Let's. Name it, just do it, go simple, name one. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, a bit of technical issues, but, yeah, for for people who missed the second half of the intro, is yeah, it, it, I, this is that's definitely going to be up on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> so I, I'd suggest going to take a look there, even if it's just to hear that music again. I'm, I'm definitely... I'm definitely getting my hands on that somewhere and putting on <laughs> in my music collection. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then tomorrow we'll have Showcase Sunday, of course. Uh, where we'll give we'll give four games a try. And Monday uh, we'll be catching up on the second Dark Side of Three stream that we missed on Thursday. And yeah, immediately after we'll continue on with it because. Girl, we'll be streaming on Tuesdays again. I finally have a break on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been uh, watching now or later. And thank you, uh, M1 Chimo uh, Alex and Frank 24P. Thank you both for watching and uh, chatting. And thank you, as always, especially Drakir. You were most welcome as always, my friend. Always? <laughs> as, as always. <laughs> uh, is developing a lisp. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, again, thank you all for watching. And un until next time, but until then, have a nice day. And until then. Uh, see you, folks. And watch out for fleas.